Greetings everybody, John Tyre here, this is my channel Wicked Game Guides, and today I have some preview video of For Honor. This is in 4K, I was playing on the PC. I was actually playing with a PlayStation controller, but this is from a preview event I went out to San Francisco for that Ubisoft was throwing. Uh, a Gamescom preview event for people that didn't make it out to Germany. And this is a particularly amazing run I made with the Orochi class. And he's the fastest of the four classes we got to choose from. There's 12 total characters that you get to choose from in the final game. This is a four on four, uh, kind of king of the hill, uh, hold the three points objective game type. And I went 13 and one with the Orochi on this on this run, so I was particularly happy with this. This is the best I did all day. And it's, oh God, I just absolutely, I'm really, really, really in love with this game so far. Um, the best thing I can say about this game is that it gives people that really liked the multiplayer of Dark Souls more of that melee combat style action. So it, we didn't get to see any of the campaign stuff in I can't imagine that it's going to be anywhere as good as the campaign for Dark Souls because that's really one of a kind with their insane bosses and extremely complicated and uh, complex worlds. But the player versus player aspect of this game is really unlike anything I've ever played in any game before. So I'm going to assume you already, well, no, I shouldn't assume you really know how the combat works in this. When you're locking on to another character, you can choose to attack up, bottom left, or bottom right or you can block in those directions because those are the same three directions that the, so the, the blue players there are the enemy players and th these are all real people other uh, professional youtubers that went out to this event so not just scrubs or ai that i'm just rolling over so again i was really happy with that well i did um but the interesting thing about this uh, especially this four on four mode is how important it is to have a full grasp of the entire environment and how uh, ridiculously hard it is to win a one versus two match. So the reason I did so well on this game is because I believe that I did an exceptionally good job just keeping my head on a swivel, swivel looking for players that were outnumbered or outmatched and taking advantage of players that were low on health and before they had a chance to recover health. So if, you're, if your team is controlling A or C, not the one, not B in the middle, and you're standing on it, then you'll actually regenerate health. Um, but my Orochi class, he is the smallest and the fastest and the most nimble of all the classes that were available. So I used a lot of hit and run tactics. And as, as you can see there, I realized it's a three on one fight. There's no way I'm gonna win that fight. I'm gonna turn around and get the hell out of there. Wait for some backup so at least it's a little bit, little bit more even of a fight. And as soon as I saw my teammate show up, I realized, oh, we can take this guy two on one and hopefully kill him before his other teammates realize what's happening. Um, now, the Orochi class, I ended up liking a lot because I didn't need to rely on blocking and parrying when, uh, because he's so nimble, they have different jump and roll distances. So when you're locked on with a character, um, you, and you press, I believe it was circle on the PlayStation controller, you do a step back. Now, if you're not locked on, you do a full roll, and the distance of the roll is affected by uh, the you know, whether you're the big berserker heavy fighter class or the super fast nimble class. So what I'm doing here is I turned and ran from this guy. He's got full health and I knew I wasn't going to win a one-on-one. A -on -one, so I ran back to the other capture point that we had control of so I could heal a little bit. And I end up taking him out here in a really close match. So you'll notice what I'm doing a lot is moving from the lock-on move to releasing the lock-on so that I can get a further, um, a further roll move. So instead of having to parry and just stand my ground, I can easily just jump in and out and in and out and just, I, I, I mean, I, if you look at the beginning of that fight, I was down to like one hit left. I had nothing left and I ended up taking that guy out. So I'm, I'm ridiculously good in that instant there to get away with that kill. Um, so again, I'm just going back and forth and looking for the enemies that are outclassed or, uh, you know, in a bad position or have half health that I can take on. Um, what else? So, team fights extremely important to take advantage of. Now, you probably just saw me run past a bunch of spikes right there, and you've probably seen a couple other pits in the environment as well. So, with this Orochi class, 
uh, he is very tiny and very weak. So he does not have the ability to just shoulder people. There is, uh, I believe if you double tap the square button, it's a shoulder charge ability. And you can kind of like knock people, stun them a little bit. And if you, after you've stunned them, if you shoulder charge again, you could literally, with the bigger classes, like this guy that I'm up against right now, you can uh, just pick them up and then just run straight through them and literally throw them off a cliff or push them into spikes for a quick instant kill. But with this Orochi class, I do not have that ability. So anytime I'm in a one-on-one -on -one fight like this, I'm doing anything I can to just uh, chip away at their health, hit and run, hit and run, back and forth over again. But the, the environment interactions, I'll be posting in another video. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. If you want to see this without the commentary, I got links for a whole bunch of different gameplay videos in the description in this playlist. Uh, so, unfortunately, I can't show any of the customization that they showed us yet. And um, there is... If I had to compare it to anything, I would say it's almost like... Um, uh, Team Fortress 2 style customization where the loot that you win after a battle it could be an upgraded hilt for your sword or a better shoulder pad or something like that it might make you a little bit faster but a little bit weaker there's a lot of trade-offs with the loot and the equipment customization so it seems like they're the customization options are almost infinite in this game uh, and I, I hadn't really run into this problem much at all during this playthrough uh, or during this video at least, but if you look under my health bar, there is a green bar that is my stamina. And you cannot just infinitely attack over and over, over and over. Uh, the stamina regenerates fairly quickly, and I didn't... And with the bigger classes, I would run into situations where I would run out of stamina, because their each attack of theirs takes consumes more stamina. So anyway... That was my pretty amazing run with the Orochi class. Uh, check out the next video. I got a bunch more of For Honor coming uh, to this channel. So subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and game on.